Hey there, and welcome to the Innovative Mindset Podcast. I'm your host, Zolda Trachtenberg. Thank you so much for being here. On this Compassion Wednesday, I'm going to be doing a review of a vegan restaurant. It's a brand new vegan restaurant. It just opened a little while ago. And I'm thinking that from now on, on Compassion Wednesdays, I'm going to be talking about that. I'm going to be talking about different vegan, cruelty-free, compassion-oriented businesses and how they are contributing to the conversation of being more compassionate and empathetic in the world. So, vegan on the fly, let's talk about it. It is at, I believe, 24 West 45th Street, right in Midtown. It's a great space. If you're seeing a show that evening, which is what we did, we were going to see Trouble in Mind uh, on Broadway, and we went and had dinner there beforehand. So it's really close to the theater district, and it's really nice to have a new space that's close to the theater district that lets you have a great, quick, and I have to say inexpensive meal. We got uh, gyros, vegan gyros, and oh my goodness, it was delicious. The sauce itself has got, it's it's, uh, tangy and garlicky and tastes incredible. The vegan meat... uh, I don't even, I think I just got seitan and it was incredible. It tasted so good. It was flavorful. It had a great texture. Uh, The pita bread was delicious. Lots of veggies, lettuce and tomato and things like that all in it. And then the fries were incredible. Now that I'm talking about it now, I want to go and get more. Uh, I want to do it again. I want to go and get more of this incredible food because A, it's delicious. B, it's right in the theater district, so it's centrally located in midtown Manhattan. But also, it's a way of supporting small businesses, right? This is this is important. And I have to tell you about the owners. I o- We only met a couple of the f- uh, gentlemen who own the business there. It's an outcropping sort of of some of, of uh, the Vegan International in Tampa, I believe, in Tampa, Florida. Oh, my stars! They were gracious, they were kind, they were enthusiastic, they were welcoming. It's wonderful. The space itself is terrific also. It is ridiculously sweet. It's They've got an indoor small space, outdoor slightly bigger space, and it's hot pink, which I always love. Uh, you know me in hot pink, fuchsia, magenta, turquoise, royal blue, all of that. I love all those colors. So this space has these hot pink tables and it's painted hot pink on the outside. It's it's sweet and nice. And I, I've only eaten the one thing. I will probably do an, another review when I've had more. Although I tend to be this kind of person. I don't know if you do this. I tend to do this thing where when I find the one thing I want to order in a restaurant, I go to that one thing. And actually, it's interesting because yesterday, some friends who were visiting us for the weekend... Rich and I went to Peace Food, which I love. And I always order the pizza, the roasted potato pizza. I think I've talked about this before when I did the review of Peace Food. But Rich and uh, our friend John ordered this sandwich. It was a tempeh sandwich, and it was amazing. And I I tried a little bit of Rich's, and I went, oh, I'm going to have that next time, which I almost never do. Once I find the one food, I tend to go, I'm sticking with this one food. And the pizza is really good. But that sandwich was incredible. And it's the same kind of thing with uh, vegan on on the fly. I might stick with what I've ordered because I love it and I tend to eat by cravings. So I don't necessarily go, oh, I'm craving vegan on the fly. I'm going to go try something new. I go, oh, I'm craving that amazing vegan gyro sandwich of vegan on the fly. I wonder what that says about me because that's one of those things where I could be more, not adventurous, but more open to other ideas. And in fact, maybe that's what I'll do when I go back there again. Instead of ordering the exact same thing, perhaps I will order something slightly different in order to bring it back to you and say what I thought about it. Because I think it's so, I think it's important. I think we have to do that. The more we can try new things and open our hearts and minds up to new ways of doing things, the better. So that's where I am about this. I I want to, I'm going to try something new next time I go to vegan on the fly. But overall, I just have to say that I highly, highly, highly recommend the restaurant. It's, it's decor is sweet and fun and colorful. The food is 
outstanding. I mean outstanding, delicious. And the owners are gracious and kind. Try the french fries. Try the vegan Twinkies and the vegan chocolate chip cookies and the lemonade, right? I mean, this is the thing. They have all of these different kinds of foods and they're, they're sort of, they're not junk food, but they're kind of fast food. In fact, one of the owners, what he told me was that they deliberately chose that spot on 45th Street because right around them, there's like a Chipotle and a Chick-fil-A and an Arby's, places like that. And he said what they wanted was to offer people a vegan option that was in a similar vein, that was sort of faster food, but delicious and able to be delectable, right? It's able to be delicious and amazing and vegan. And and it will compete with some of those other non-vegan restaurants right on the same block. So I hope you've enjoyed today's kind of rambling review of Vegan on the Fly. I did, I just wanted you to know my my little rating is the food is outstanding. The hosts are gracious, kind, and enthusiastic. The decor is fun and cute. It's in Midtown. If you're going to the theater or any other event right around there, it's a perfect little spot to go and grab your lunch or your dinner. And you'll really love it, I promise. Okay. If you're enjoying the show, I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to I'd love it if you'd review the show, actually. If you would go and review it. Wherever you listen, if it has a, an ability, a capability of reviewing, it'll mean the world to me if you did. This episode is brought to you by Brain FM, like most of my episodes are. I love the app. I use the app daily, and I would love, love, love it if you would try it. And if you do try it, and you go to brain.fm slash innovative mindset, and you use my little innovative mindset coupon code, you can get 20% off the app, which is really cool. And just so you know, because I'm an affiliate, I will get a little bit of change back from them if you buy it through my link. 20% off is a really good deal. I love the app. I use it every single day. I use it to meditate. I use it to create. I love, love, love it. So I would never, I would never, 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 never recommend the app if I didn't love it and use it. All right, until next time, this is Isolde Trachtenberg. There's a lady walking. I hope that whatever she's saying is not coming through. (laughs) She's talking. Anyway, uh, until next time, this is Isolde Trachtenberg reminding you that to innovate, you have to be bold, be creative, and be kind. Thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate you being here. Please subscribe to the podcast if you're new. And if you like what you're hearing, please review it and rate it and let other people know. And if you'd like to be a sponsor of the show, I'd love to meet you on patreon.com slash innovative mindset. I also have lots of exclusive goodies to share just with the show's supporters there. Today's episode was produced by Zolda Trachtenberg and is copyright 2021. As always, please remember this is for educational and entertainment purposes only. Past performance does not guarantee future results, although we can always hope. Until next time, keep living in your innovative mindset.